Ben Pollock, amazing power lifter. I just met a couple, three months ago, right? Yeah, about that. Yeah, at Big Taste Gym. Mm -hmm. I got a couple questions for you. We okay. did a workout, so I want to go ahead and tell you guys to stay tuned throughout this interview. You guys are going to see him lifting some heavy ass weight, man. I, I'm really amazed at your size and your strength and, you know, the numbers that you put up. It's amazing, man. Thanks, man. Congratulations. That. Let's get right into it. Man. All right. So you're pro power lifter. Mm -hmm. Multi-federation, which yep. I know some people are kind of weird about that, but let's talk about the federation that you broke records in and what were your totals. Okay. It was a USPF meet local here in Austin, Texas. Um, and I was, you know, trying for the all-time world record in the deadlift and the total. Didn't quite get there. Did have, I think, the third best squat of all time, best raw squat at 181. That was 738. Wow. Uh, Let's go, Let's go, Get out! Get out! Oh, come on. I think that's probably my best lift to date. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, okay. But you know, still gotta keep chasing after bigger and better, right? So for sure, it's Battle of the Dragons. Battle of the Dragons, most recent one. Okay, right on. And you did lift the Boss of Bosses. I did. Yes. You rocked that one too. Yeah. So that was in uh, Mountain View, California. That was a WRPC meet. Okay. The first one held in America because oh. um, it's a Russian federation. Mm -hmm. um, so I got best overall raw lifter in that for the for the males, obviously. Okay. Um, not for the females. We're not for the females, yeah. <laughs> and so I finished there with, I think, a 1901 total. Wow. Um, something like that. And what was your body weight there? Uh, I weighed in at 196. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and so, you know, I think that was it was definitely an American record because first, first meet in this... Uh, in America, so it right was definitely on. that. I think it was also a world record for that federation. That's amazing, man. Again, it's just completely amazing. So, what's next? Um, you know, I'm still chasing that all-time world record. Um, okay. Which I'm, is? Which is for the for the 198s, it's 2033, uh -huh. um, and for the 181s, it's 1951. Wow. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm ranked number one for this year in powerlifting watch and the deadlift, um, and I think I'm number ten across all weight classes. But that's amazing. Yeah, gotta, you're always looking be at pushing, that, right? see where it's at. Yeah. And your what's your wheels at? Uh, my best folks right now, I think it's, I think it's 554. It might be 563. It's somewhere around there. Yeah, you not quite keep the 600 looking at that because it changes as well. Yeah, right on. Okay, and I while we're watching this video, we'll talk about some of the bodybuilding that you're thinking about doing. Sure. What's up with that? Why are you going for bodybuilding uh, or powerlifting to bodybuilding? What what sparked that interest? Sure. So the one of the owners of uh, the gym I go to, Big Tex here in Austin, mm -hmm. um, you know, he was really pushing for me while I was training for my last couple of meets to mm -hmm. make the transition into bodybuilding. He thought I could do well at it. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I think one of my weaknesses as a powerlifter is that I do have trouble activating some of my smaller muscles, mm -hmm. um, kind of using everything in conjunction. And I think bodybuilding is a good way to improve on that. Um, so not only is it good way of, to look at it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Not only is it you know trying something new, continuing to push myself harder to be better at something different, but it's also going to improve the stuff that I'm already enjoying. And, doing. and getting better in the accessory movements will actually help you know activate some of the just like you said the smaller muscles help the larger muscles, which retains or transfers over into a better lift. Yes, absolutely. And so. Do you have a projected date that you might be getting on the bodybuilding stage? Right now we're looking at sometime in June. Um, so that would be after I'm going to do a couple powerlifting meets early this year. And then we'll probably try and finish out the second half of the year just focusing on bodybuilding. Wow, man. It's uh, purely amazing. I mean, there's only a couple dudes in the world and still killing it at the Olympia level. Uh, Stan Efferding, which is another bodybuilder hybrid powerlifter. I mean, there's I'm sure there's a few others out there. Sure, sure. Those guys come to mind. And you definitely have that skill set and mindset. Hopefully you do very well. Thank Thank you. Absolutely. Um, what? How old are you? I know people want to know how old you are. Sure, I'm 29. 29? So you're almost over the hill. Almost. Get me. <laughs> In this Getting world, there. for sure, know, man. man. How are your joints and tendons and muscles holding up, breaking all these records? You know, it's rough, um, but that's one of the things is part of the game. You just got to keep trying to stay on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I'm kind of dealing with some shoulder stuff, um, and that's, that's hurt my bench training a little bit, but, yeah. um, you know, you can work around that stuff. You always got to keep pressing the rehab I do things like contrast showers get massage therapy yeah, all that kind yeah of stuff. I think in the video we talk and show you doing some of the massages now real quick we didn't talk anything about your benches what is your okay. bench um, so my best bench in a competition is 424, 424? at uh, 196 I think okay um, and what was your best deadlift the best deadlift is 800 wow. the same body weight. Yeah, so. and then squat uh, squat, the best one I've done is that 738. Jesus, just in case you missed that. That's a, a lot of weight, man. How long have you been doing this? 
Um, I started training around 2001 for wrestling. You know, I want to get stronger, be a better wrestler and stuff. And okay, so 15 years or so? 15, yeah, about that. Wow. I didn't start competing until 2012, November 2012. Was my okay. First yeah, but you've been crushing it for a long time. Yeah, I've been Almost two decades now. And what, did, what got you into this world of powerlifting? Um, like I said, you know, I want to be strong for wrestling. Mm -hmm. I actually wrestled 103 in my freshman year of high school. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm twice that size now. Just a wee that. lad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, when you're that small, you gotta, you got to make it up in strength, right? Like, um, and so that's why, that's why I got so into, so into lifting. Strength and, or just start slapping people. Yeah, right. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> you're um, too nice, but got to slap anybody. <laughs> I mean, probably. I think, I don't know. If you see this guy lifting, he looks like the devil, man. I'll Shoot. tell you. Got to turn on sometime. Yeah, that's right. Got to get it out. Just a Are you just as serious on the outside of the gym? Yeah, definitely. I'm a grad student at the University of Texas. I'm actually studying the history of, um, we call it physical culture, but it's really the history of lifting, exercise, fitness, that oh, type of thing. Right on. Um, and so, you know, personally. So you're putting science behind your lifting too. Uh, definitely. More history for my history and kind of management, those type okay. of things. But um, yeah, some science because, you know, it's in the kinesiology department, mm -hmm. um, working closely with the exercise scientists and sport management people. So. Okay. And definitely. is that something, what school are you attending? Is it close here? Or? Yeah, University of Texas. Oh, right on. University of Texas. Okay, yep. right down the road. Uh, is there anything that, as far as like when you're doing this education, what is it you're looking towards? I mean, I know you're trying to help yourself right now, but right. what is your ultimate goal when you graduate? Who do you want to be when you get done? I don't know if it's right after I graduate, but eventually, you know, I want to teach at a college or university. Oh, right. Um, you know, same stuff I'm studying now. Um, something to do with sport, physical culture. Awesome. That's so, yeah. not necessarily like a high school football coach, but, you know, as a professor teaching, you know, the logistics of the body. Yeah, you're still kind of a coach in a way, right? For sure. Like, yeah, you're teaching people. So. Oh, right on. Enjoy. Yeah. That's good. And that's what we like to do is teach people, educate people how we've screwed up all of our lives and how we figured it out. Absolutely. And we're reading books now about it, too. So, I probably should have read a lot more books, but I didn't. Not very good at reading. So, uh, let's talk real quick about your nutrition. Okay. Are, are you like into getting really huge and big and bulky in the off season? Or do you like to stay close to your competition weight? Or you know, how do you like to look and how do you like to train? Well, you know, I do I do pretty big weight cuts. So I don't know that you said I stay close to my competition weight, but I do try to stay pretty lean, especially, you know, when you're in those middle weight or lighter weight classes. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta stay lean. You can't be afforded to giving up, you know, lean body mass to other guys. So For sure. um, definitely try to do that. Um, I don't count my calories or macros or anything like that. I just okay. try and, you know, be consistent with it, eat clean foods, none of that processed junk. Okay. Um, and be be progressive, right? So if I'm trying to gain weight, then I eat a little bit more every day. If I'm trying to lose weight, a little so bit you're less. a kind of eyeballing it kind of guy. Definitely, very yeah. simple. And that's yeah. that's cool. You don't really sit around and trying to figure out how many macronutrients you're looking and weighing and this, that, and the other. Right. You've been doing this for 15 years. You know what your body needs. You know you're gonna need a couple more calories when you're deadlifting like crazy for a day. If you're doing biceps and you know triceps and traps or something like that, you're probably gonna cut back on the calories. Sure. Especially if you're sitting around all day and not necessarily doing anything, using your brain and not really training hard, right? So you just kind of eyeballing it. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And then uh, I guess real quick, you say that you stick close to your, you stay lean and you you do these huge cuts. So when you're cutting down to 181 or 196, what are you up to in the off season? Well, man, so right now I'm weighing about 215 to 18, somewhere around there. And that's so. not bad. I mean, you got 20 pounds or maybe 30 pounds. I know these bodybuilders back when I was competing 20, 25 years ago, we could have 300 pounds and cut down to 240. Yep. You know, we cut 60 doggone pounds. So that was just too much back then. Uh, I think people have got it figured out, but I, I do like to eat. You like to eat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think that kind of covers it. Anybody you'd like to thank for the last 15 years that you've been doing this? Well, I mean, obviously I want to thank you for setting this up, for doing uh, the photo shoot. My pleasure. Great right. time. Yep. Um, and definitely the people at Big Techs, you know, they've okay. been super supportive, making mm -hmm. very fun environment, and they're really supporting the, the sport here in, here in Austin, which a lot for of people sure. haven't done before. Yeah, it's really good to find a gym that'll support you and your goals. Yeah. And kind of along the same lines, I'd like to thank Lead FDS and Dave Tate, you know, who sponsored me. And awesome I have my people. Yeah. blog up on their site, and they're kind of doing the same thing, you know, supporting the sport, trying to get education out. For kind sure. Of the, now, you're writing for Dave now, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so where can we find that information at? Um, so that's on Elite FTS under their coaching logs. Okay. Um, 
you know, I'm listed first because my name starts with a V, so That's there you go, cool. easy to find. Right on. Um, and then I'll have some articles coming out. I think my first one was actually published yesterday. That is amazing. Um, so, yeah. Where else can we find Jet besides on Dave's site? I'm also on Instagram. Um, okay. My uh, tag is PH Deadlift. Okay. Um, little kind of joke type thing. Um, well, let's talk about the joke. Okay. Well, you know, PhD program, Deadlift. Oh, okay. It's the cleverest yeah. thing I could come up with. I thought, yeah. I thought about it. Like, I didn't figure it out. <laughs> um, and then I have a YouTube channel that's under the same name. So okay, PH yeah. Deadlift. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, if you guys are out there looking for some amazing lifting and some cool cat stuff, man, this guy, you need to check him out. And we're going to call that a wrap, man. I appreciate Sounds you good, coming man. out, man. Absolutely. We're going to have some coffee here at IHOP. And until next time, Tensity Rules Train Hardcore. We'll see you next video. Truly intense with tons of humility. One of the most humble and intense individuals I've ever met in my life. I'm telling you right now, I love associating myself with people like that. One of my favorite interviews that I've done to date. Thank you, Ben, so much for taking time to hang out with me and interview. Stay tuned for that workout. You saw some of the clips from that. Also, I have confirmed he will be at FitCon Texas 2017, March 24th and 25th. Stay tuned for all that information to be launched ASAP. See you next video.